What's going on, Matter 17 players? It's your boy Skateboarding and Skates. I'm back. I know it's late in the year, but this is a run pass scheme, man, that you guys are gonna love. Um first and foremost, man, like I said, it's late in the year. So it's not that much shit that could get put out, you know what I'm saying? And uh I told y'all, man, I have more content to give y'all. And uh I might as well just go ahead and drop the scheme that I've been doing and it's been working for me, you know, every now and again. Um right here I'm using the Patriots. Uh Honestly, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to break it down as much as I can for you guys to, you know, get the best, you know, up out of this. By far, this has got to be the best run in the game. And uh, the best run in the game, no, not this play right here. Uh, it's got to be the shovel option uh, out of trips, HB week. And uh, before you even say anything, man, you got to come out in the shovel option in order for it to be at its best. Um the shovel option is going to is going to pretty much open up so much for you. It's going to give you the outside runs. It's going to let you know if your opponent is going to be over committing on one side of the field. And if he does that, then all you have to do is go into inside zone. Right here, we're looking for the P's, which is the pitch. Uh, if they have a pitch, you know, going up top with the free safety, then it's going to let you know, it's going to indicate that you can actually run that, that shovel option because what the lower P is going to do is going to bite in up on the quarterback. And if he does that, if he leaves it how it is, like say right now there's two P's on one side, that's indicating for you to audible into the inside zone. Anytime when you see that they're over committing up on one side, you need to run the inside zone. Um, I recommend that you put your tight ends out where the wide receivers are and again that's going to be at the gun trips uh hb week week um right at the top gun white trips hb week whatever uh you want to sub in your, your your tight ends who have good blocking ability man who has speed and good blocking but also can catch um if your wide receiver can you know block then you can leave them in but like i said you know, for this team, I, I put out all tight ends, and I was able to get, you know, action like this. Um, we already know LeGarrette Blunt is a, a big bruising back. So if you have a running back, man, that can, you know, break tackles and get that speed burst on the sideline, I'm talking about Latavius Murray, Adrian Peterson, the Buffalo Bills, shit like that, then this, this scheme is going to work really well for you. Even with the Seahawks, um, you do need a quarterback that can, you know, get it done on the ground. That's why you see I got Jacoby Brissett in for Tom Brady. And uh, this this is my scheme on how I've been getting it done, how I've been winning games. Um, you don't have to stay put up in this formation like so. Um, I go also into the passing side of the game, which is out of wide receiver corners. And that's going to be at the empty lion set. And uh, it's, a, it's really deadly. I broke that down, wide receiver corners. I broke that down early on in the year as far as on – breaking that play down on how to get your guys open and why the blue routes uh the the pass and release routes are very very deadly in this game they one pick up the blitz two if they overcommit on one side and once they actually do a check and release and they release they'll be open in coverage for you to actually go go for an easy dump off a little dink and dunk or you could actually if you have a good speedy quarterback you can just run up the field with the quarterback and you know slide the ball slide with the ball using l2 r2 and tap in square that's how you will slide for the uh you know the qb slide um right here man it's just legary blunt being him breaking tackles doing his thing but again like i said man by far the best run in the game has got to be the shovel option and this is why uh guys just don't know how to really cover it and I know a lot of guys who say that they do, but once you, you go up into your audibles and you have good pass plays, you don't have to use wide receiver corners. That's what I like to use to complement this play. But again, what I eat won't make you shit. So if you find something that works for you, man, you know, take it in the lab, practice it, and I hope this play works out for you. Uh, future endeavors with this channel. Uh, I've been playing UFC, man. I've been playing UFC 2 a lot. And uh, anybody that got tips or that know how to play that game, man, I'm trying to get good up on them sticks. So I'm going to show you guys gameplay footage of that coming soon. 
So just keep your eyes out up on this channel as far as what we're doing. Just to, you know, stay relevant, man. Stay honest and stay, you know, going. You know what I'm saying? But uh, this is the wide receiver play that I was talking about, the wide receiver corners. You just be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. It's your boy Skateboarding and Skates, and I'm just skating through. Peace.